Hello everyone. Back again with Film Recap. In this video, I will recap one of the thriller films from 2021, titled Blood Red Sky. Before we get to the storyline, don't forget to like and subscribe for more film recaps and have a great day. The film begins with the chaotic atmosphere of a military airport in Scotland. At the moment, the military is handling the landing of the plane which has been reported to have been hijacked by terrorists. A colonel directs a sniper to intercept the terrorists on the plane. Once the plane landed, Colonel Allen tries to communicate with a man who is in the pilot's seat. It is discovered that the man has suffered an injury to his hand. In response, Allen tells the man to stay in place because he could be one of the terrorists. Not long after, a boy named Elias get off the plane's cargo hold. The soldiers rush to Elias and take him to the medical room. When Elias is taken to the medical room, they try to find out what exactly happened on the plane. The scene then shows the day on which the transatlantic 473 plane is scheduled to take off. At the moment, Elias and his mother named Nadia, will travel to New York to undergo therapy for the illness that Nadia is suffering from. Nadia is suffering from leukemia, and she is required to see Dr. Brown who promises to cure her illness. At that moment, Nadia starts to feel agitated, and she asks Elias to wait in the waiting room while she calms herself down. While doing so, she will go to the bathroom to take the medication she takes on regular basis. Nadia will experience some side effects after taking the medication, but these will only last for a short period of time. Elias who is waiting for his mother meets a scientist named Farid, who happens to go to New York to attend a convention there. Long story short, the transatlantic plane to New York is ready to take off. The atmosphere on the plane looks calm at first, but the atmosphere turns tense when one of the passengers argues with one of the flight attendants. Two marshals who happen to be passengers, immediately take them inside. You understand? However, the two marshals are then killed by those two guys, and it turns out that they are terrorists. No! No! They just pretend to cause a commotion in order to draw the attention of the marshals. The pilot is immediately killed by another terrorist. Plus, they turn off the ACAR system so that the plane cannot be tracked. The terrorists consist of Berg, Eightball the steward, Bastian the co-pilot, Yuri, Curtis, and Carl. They then hijack the plane and order all passengers to move to the back room. The passengers who start to panic comply with their orders. Berg, the terrorist leader announces that they are now in control of the plane, and asked all passengers to remain silent until the ransom is paid. Ice the ground. Thank you. Elias then found a map of the plane's interior, he then looks for a place they can hide. After finding it, Elias immediately go to that place. Seeing her son is running to the back of the plane forcing Nadia to follow him. Unfortunately, 8-Ball notices it, and points a gun at her. In the end, Nadia is shot three times by 8-Ball. Elias who see his mother is lying, cancels his plans to go into hiding, and he is finally dragged back to his seat. Moments later, Berg brings three passengers to the front room, including Farid. Berg then tells the three of them to read a letter that is written in an Arabic phrase. Not only that, Berg also records Farid's words, which give the impression that an Arabian terrorist has taken over the plane. After that, the scene switches to Nadia's past memories, in which she is seen having a picnic with Elias and her husband, Nikolai. When they were on their way back home from a picnic, their car suddenly broke down in the middle of the road. Because the road was too quiet and too far from the village, Nikolai was forced to leave Nadia to go find help. However, after a few hours of waiting, Nadia became worried since Nikolai still had not returned. She finally decided to look for Nikolai while holding Elias in her hand. While she was on her way, she noticed footprints leading to a specific location. She then continued on the trail, eventually arriving at an old house. While walking into the house, she noticed blood stains that led to a room and she followed the blood stains to see if it was her husband's blood on the ground. However, she was startled when a strange man appeared behind her, prompting her to quickly close the door. After that, Nadia found Nikolai's dead body which was covered in blood. Plus, the strange man reappeared and attempted to break through the wall. Nadia immediately hit the man with a stick, but her hand was bitten during the fight. 
In the end, the man had to die as a result of his exposure to the sun. It was later discovered that the man was a vampire and that he had also managed to bite Nadia's hand, causing her to change in the same way as he had. Following Nikolai's death, Nadia was left to care for Elias on her own. She was forced to survive by avoiding the sun in order to keep her life going. Moreover, she only drinks the blood from animal flesh as a source of energy. Nadia then returned to the old house to look for curing solution, where she found an experimental book on the creation of vampires. At that moment, someone came and the person claimed to be the vampire's father, whom Nadia had previously killed. The vampire father then explained that every vampire was endowed with an evil essence that caused them to drink human blood. He also said that Nadia was cursed and she needed to be exterminated. He also tried to kill Nadia, but Nadia was able to fight back and managed to kill him. After that, she took a drug concoction of the vampire father, where the drug can be used to reduce the vampire's aggressiveness. In the end, she took a gallon of gasoline and set the whole house on fire. The scene then returns to the plane where Nadia, despite being shot, is still able to live again. Nadia then crawls and tries to get into the cargo hold. She removes her denture, which had been hiding her true identity as a vampire. Yuri and Curtis then come to prepare parachutes and poison gas. At the same time, the passengers' two dogs bark at Nadia. Nadia, who is thirsty for blood, immediately bites one of the dogs and then drinks the blood. Yuri, who is preparing the poison gas, hears a strange sound behind him. He then approaches the voice, where he sees Nadia, who is eating the dog's blood. Nadia immediately attacks Yuri, then bite him on the neck. She gradually turns into a full-fledged vampire as a result of this. Since Nadia doesn't want to be an aggressive vampire. She injects medications into her body to reduce her aggressiveness, so preventing her from killing anyone. Apol, on the other hand, warns the passengers that if they do not remain in their seats, poison gas will be released. After that, Apol and the hijackers return to the cargo hold to jump off the plane. They have also planted a bomb on the plane, which will be detonated after they have jumped from the plane. Nadia get out of the cargo hold and go to meet Elias. She then takes Elias to the pilot's cabin. where she plans to return the plane to New York after it had been hijacked and diverted to London earlier because the plane's control system is still on autopilot Nadia goes to the passenger's room and asks who can pilot the plane not long after a student who claims to have played a simulator game offers to volunteer to pilot an airplane she then brings the student along with Farid who wants to help him as a co-pilot before that Farid informs the passengers that they will all die because the hijackers had arranged a plan to crash the plane into a building in London. A rumor starts circulating among the passengers that the terrorists was attempting to influence the stock market. Farid and the student then follow Nadia to the pilot's room while Nadia keep monitoring the CCTV in order to keep an eye out for the hijackers. After they have jumped off the aircraft, the student have to quickly return the plane's route to New York City. Unfortunately, the hijackers who are ready in the cargo hold later find Yuri's dead body. Apol believes that Nadia is responsible for Yuri's death because he is unable to find Nadia's body near the cargo hold's door. After that, they go straight to the pilot's room to stop Nadia. In order to force Nadia to open the door, Berg murders one of the passengers in front of her. The fact that Nadia never opens the door leads Apol to take one of the passengers' small children to threaten Nadia. When Nadia sees Berg is about to kill the child, she immediately opens the door and brutally attacks Berg. After that, Apol takes Nadia's bag and finds a notebook that have information about sunrise and sunset times. Apol begins to believe that Nadia is a vampire. He then prepared a UV flashlight and make a sharp stick to use as a weapon against Nadia. After everything is ready, The hijackers go straight to the pilot room to kill Nadia. Apol then spots Nadia and tries to fight her off as the others make their way to the cockpit. Apol manages to defeat Nadia and he begins to admire the vampire's physique that doesn't die easily. He then takes Nadia's blood with a syringe and after that, Apol will kill Nadia with a stick. Fortunately, Elias suddenly come with a gun pointed at Apol. Elias also ventures to shoot him. but the shot hit the plane's window pane causing eight ball to be sucked into the window 
At this point, the air pressure inside the plane begins to decrease. Bastian is the co-pilot, immediately blows up the cockpit door and controls the plane to fly lower. Due to the dive condition of the plane, one of the passengers is accidentally hit by a trolley, causing a small tear in his stomach. Since 8-Ball chooses to leave Nadia, Nadia entrusts Elias to Farid, before she go after 8-Ball to the cargo hold. When Nadia arrives at the cargo hold, she found 8-Ball hiding in the car. Nadia then tries to shoot at the car window, but the glass does not break. She takes an iron and jabs it at 8-Ball, but 8-Ball easily snatches the iron away from Nadia. Following that, 8-Ball injects the vampire blood into his own body, before he begins to mutate into a vampire. Knowing this, she then puts perfume in the car, and burns it to kill 8-Ball. However, Bastion detects the smoke, and act quickly to extinguish the fire in the area. The hijackers start going down to check on it. They found Nadia, who is trying to escape from the cargo hold. Seeing that, they immediately shot Nadia's leg. Luckily, Nadia still manages to get out and immediately close the door. They later found 8-Ball in the car. One of them sees 8-Ball is convulsing. He also tries to help 8-Ball, but 8-Ball bites him to death. In the passenger's room, the passengers start blaming Nadia and try to kill her. Fortunately, Elias and Farid come to stop the passengers. Nadia, who realized that 8-Ball has become a vampire, then closes all the doors so that 8-Ball cannot enter the plane cabin. The other passengers also help Nadia to hold the door. At that moment, 8-Ball tries to enter the cabin, and Nadia immediately holds the door. When Farid tries to help Nadia, he is bitten on his hand. After that, one of the passengers come and immediately shot 8-Ball. After the door is locked, Nadia grabs Farid's hand and cuts it to prevent the infection from spreading throughout Farid's body. Following that, Nadia, Farid and Elias takes Bastian to the cockpit. Bastian says that the plane's fuel is running low, which means they can't make it to New York City. They have no choice but to land at the nearest airport. Moments later, Bastian receives a signal from the Scottish Military Special Ground Tower. Then, Bastian tells the truth that the plane is being hijacked and the terrorists have been locked in the cargo hold. One of the passengers who had previously been injured in the stomach, is now treated by a doctor. The doctor informs him that his kidney has ruptured and he may die as a result of this. The doctor then goes to the medical room to get medical supplies to stop the bleeding in his stomach. As the doctor left, this man makes his way towards the cargo hold. It turns out that this man is afraid that he will die and wants his body to be bitten by a vampire, because that is the only way for him to stay alive. The moment he opened the cargo door, he come face to face with 8-Ball, and asks him to bite his neck. However, 8-Ball refuses and just storms past him. Because of his actions, the vampires is able to get out of the cargo hold, and starts attacking all the passengers in the cabin. The passengers immediately start to panic, and they scramble to get into the pilot's room. Finally, all of the passengers begin to transform into vampires. Farid, Nadia, and Bastian realize that if the plane manages to land, the vampires will run away, making the situation extremely dangerous for the people down there. Therefore, Farid suggests to blow up the plane after landing using explosives already installed in the fuel tank. However, the explosive control detonator is still in the cargo hold. Plus, the only safe way to get to the cargo hold is through the narrow air vents. Elias goes straight into the hole without a second's thought, while holding a UV flashlight as a weapon. As he arrive at the cargo hold, he manages to get the detonator. But other vampires start to appear, causing Elias' UV flashlight to fall. He then hides under the car for a while. Nadia intends to save her child after seeing this. Before leaving, Nadia asks Farid to promise to look after Elias until he grows up if she is killed. Following that, Nadia immediately sucks Bastian's blood to bring out her aggressive side. She gets out of the pilot room and rushes to the cargo hold. When she tries to save Elias, she is confronted by 8-Ball. In the end, the two of them have to fight each other. Because Nadia doesn't get enough blood, she's defeated by 8-Ball. After that, Elias lure 8-Ball to approach the hatch. 
As 8-Ball is standing next to the door, Elias detonates one of the explosives in the hatch. It makes 8-Ball to be sucked out but he still seems to be stuck in a net. And as expected, 8-Ball reappears and intending to attack Elias. Farid, who is still in the control room, immediately turns the plane around to face the rising sun. As a result, 8-Ball catches fire and dies when he falls to the ground. When Elias notices his mother getting weaker, he slashes his palm to give a few drops to her. After Nadia wakes up, she restrains Elias from approaching her again. This is due to the possibility that Nadia will lose control and bite Elias at that time. The scene then shifts back to Elias, who is still in the medical room. One of the officers interrogates him there. After that, Elias says that the plane is full of vampires. He tells them all to get Farid off the plane as soon as possible. However, none of the officers including Colonel Allen, believed what Elias had to say so they drugged Elias instead of listening to him out. As night falls, Colonel Allen orders the soldiers to catch Farid, while the others will break into the cabin door to save the survivors. As soon as they enter the cabin, they are attacked by the vampires. Elias who is about to be taken to the hospital, then wakes up before jumps from the ambulance, and heads straight to the plane to look for Farid. At that moment, Farid himself has been secured by the army. At the same time, Farid notices Elias running towards the plane. He also calls out to Elias, but Elias doesn't hear him. Meanwhile, the vampires begin to descend from the cabin. Before the vampires walking away from the plane, Elias is forced to take his detonator which is in his teddy bear. He then presses the explosive button in the fuel tank, resulting in a massive explosion in the plane. After the explosion happened, Colonel Allen realized that Farid is not guilty. He then releases Farid, allowing him to reunite with Elias. The vampires, on the other hand, are most likely all killed by a massive explosion. And with that, the film ends. Okay guys. That's all the recap for Blood Red Sky 2021. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.